Fruitland woman Sarah Wandra was arraigned virtually here at the Payette County Courthouse, accused of failing to report the death of Michael Vaughn for the purpose of concealing the manner in which he died. I understand what they've said is not correct. Sarah Wandra alleges no wrongdoing, arrested for failing to report the death of missing Fruitland boy Michael Monkey Vaughn. Wandra lives at the home where investigators have been digging up the backyard, searching for Vaughn's remains since Saturday and is now being held on a $500,000 bond. The state initially asking for more. She's a danger to the community um, and she fails to abide by the social norms that we all expect. And there are obviously very serious implications in her being aware of his whereabouts this whole time. So um, the state's asking for a $1 million bond. Prosecutors also say Wandra was already on pretrial release for a previous felony charge related to illegally possessing a firearm as a convicted felon. Should Wandra post bond, she'll be required to be fitted with GPS monitoring prior to her release. In court Monday, the judge also ruled to seal all documents in the case, including investigative reports and affidavits where the details could compromise the ongoing investigation or potential future jurors. And police tell us they don't believe that Sarah Wandra is the only person with knowledge of what happened to Michael Vaughn. She'll be in court next on the 21st for a status conference and then again on November 22nd for her preliminary hearing. We'll keep you updated as we learn more. Reporting in Payette, I'm Karen Lair, Idaho News 6.